Today we are going to discuss the Lacey Coat of Arms, but before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer professional genealogy research services at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. The first Lacey Coat of Arms to discuss is blazoned or a lion rampant purpur armed in lagoon gules, belong to Hugh de Lacey, Lord of Meath, 4th Baron Lacey, who died in 1186. He was the son of Gilbert, grandson of Roger, and the great-grandson of Walter de Lacey, who came over from Normandy, France. Hugh's younger son, also named Hugh, was a leading figure in the Norman invasion of Ireland in the 12th century and was created Earl of Ulster in 1205 AD. This was also the arms of Henry de Lacey, Earl of Lincoln, born 1251. He bore this coat of arms at the Battle of Falkirk in 1298 and at another battle in 1300. He was the son of Edmund de Lacey, the Baron of Pontefract. And before he bore this coat of arms, Henry bore this coat of arms. So he must have got the lion a little bit later in life. Now we see the same arms with the crest. This belonged to many individuals. We're from this family in Ballingarry, County Limerick. You have Captain John de Lacey of Ballingarry, was the grandson of William de Lacey, Lord of Bruff, who lived in the 1500s. From this branch descended Graf Peter von Lacey, who served in the Imperial Russian Army and was governor of Riga, as well as his son, Franz Moritz Graf von Lacey, a Baltic German born Austrian military leader was a close friend and advisor to Holy Roman Emperor Joseph II, who made him a count. Argent six pellets, three, two, and one. This belonged to the Laceys of Longworth in Lancashire. Thomas Lacey, alive in the year 1664, was son of Thomas Lacey of Cromwell, a descendant of John Lacey of Cromwell. And we know Thomas had four sons and two daughters with his wife, Anne Winkley. Another with a crest from Melton Mowbray and Cromwell and Beverly in Yorkshire. John Lacey, son and heir of William Lacey of Melton Mowbray, grandson of Seth Lacey and great-grandson of Richard Lacey of Halifax. Another said to be born by a Cornish knight in the 15th century and wasn't able to find out who that was, but it was also born by Edmund Lacey who died in 1455 he was the Bishop of Hereford and Bishop of Exeter in England. Another was the Laceys of Stamford in Lincolnshire. Henry Lacey, who died in 1565, was a landowner and alderman of Stafford. He owned land in Cambridgeshire as well and was the son of Thomas. Another for the Laceys of Hartrow and Rowberry in County Somerset. William Lacey of Hartrow and Azelius Lacey of Robero, both alive in 1623, were sons of William Lacey of Hartrow. Another for the Laceys of Shipton under Witchwood in County Oxfordshire, Sir John Lacey of Shipton was High Sheriff in the year 1631. Thank you. Also Lacey of Enfield in County Middlesex. Okay, bring Mama. All right, go get Mama. I'm just going to please help me get that door. I will. I'll close the door. Go, go, go. Okay. Thank you. Ghouls, two bar, two bands, wavy ermine from London. Very nebulae of six ermine and ghouls from Northumberland. Here's one from Herefordshire, born by Adam de Lacey, born around the year 1247 of Castle Frome and by his son, Sir John de Lacey, born in 1276. Another for the Laceys of Walsh, Sam and the Willows of County Norfolk and Suffolk, Hugh Lacey, who died in 1529, had son Thomas Lacey, both of Walsh, Sam and the Willows, and Thomas was said to be the richest taxpayer in the parish. Another from our the Laceys of Lane House in Feckenham and Broadway in County Worcestershire, said to be the surname Hobday or Hobbleday, who also had the alias surname of Lacey. 
one from County Cambridgeshire. It is very similar to the arms of one Sir Robert Lacey that was documented in 1445. One from Beverly, County Yorkshire. Another from Yorkshire. And there are many more that we don't have time to get to. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com. Link in the description. Thank you very much.